Images by the billion arrive in the world every day as more and more of us use digital cameras and networks to record our lives. We collect a huge range of material that is vastly different from institutional collections. And most of it ends up as tiny images in personal phones and computers, or scattered all over the web. In 2010, Gibson Group, Danish artist Spilav Thiel and the Copenhagen Museum created an award-winning mobile exhibition that brings together the museum's and people's own collections in grand scale. It's a new interactive platform known in Copenhagen simply as The Wall. Still operating successfully after three years on the streets, the heart of the wall is a 3D digital model of the city's cultural landscape. This digital cityscape is a new kind of user interface. It enables people to browse thousands of images in a 3D collage, like walking through a city with your fingertips. Up to 4,000 daily visitors explore this cityscape, where every image can be opened to reveal the story of that place, person or event in the city's life. When a story has many images, they're loaded into photo albums so they can show, for example, different cultural or historical aspects of a place. The cityscape is made up of many different neighbourhood collections, and each collection can be opened in a 3D cloud. All images are tagged with themes, so you can explore a theme over the entire city. And the city can also be explored historically, using a timeline toolbar to recall different historical periods. The wall is above all a collaborative endeavour, so visitors can add to it at any time. They can upload their own material directly by mobile phone, or by sending an email link to upload from home. They can add comments about the images they find, either by wall cam or by using the on-screen keyboards. And one of the most popular user features of the wall is creating a postcard that can be sent by email to multiple email addresses. As many as 500 postcards are sent from the wall in a single day. The wall also has a companion website where visitors can contribute from home or school. Copenhagen's wall was entirely customised to the museum's needs. It was designed robustly to operate 365 days a year without being manned, so operations and systems are monitored remotely. And all content on the wall can be managed from the curator's desktop. Three years after opening, 1.3 million visitors have enjoyed what it offers. The Wall's original bank of 10,000 images has now reached over 20,000, with many coming from public contributions, along with another 10,000 text and video comments from visitors. And image views are now well over 10 million. The original Wall platform continues to evolve the wall can now display curator-scheduled content like videos, promotions of city events, or temporary exhibitions. Copenhagen's wall has visited several different city districts. It has also hosted a preview of a wall for Cairo, which is currently in development. The wall partners now make the platform available to other museums and organisations custom-designed so clients can specify more or fewer screens, exterior or interior, fixed or transportable. And on the content side, options are available for multiple languages, social networking integration and commercial promotions. So there is a wide range of cost options. But perhaps the greatest benefit of the wall is to take people's visual heritage out of the vaults and into a highly popular medium where those who would never visit a traditional museum exhibition can see and tell their own stories.